Hello dear students. Today we are starting new lesson unit 8 tourism. Tourism. Okay? Lesson 1 getting started. So first of all, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Okay? Thank you very much. Here we go. Look at the new words please first of all. And there is a picture here. It's an exciting picture, extremely exciting, beautiful or surprising. What is the synonym of these words or adjective? It is breathtaking. Breathtaking. Breathtaking in Vietnamese an cheng hap zan. And look at this picture please. A situation in which people don't understand what is happening, what they should do, or who someone or something is. It is confusion. Confusion. Okay. Su Huang Mang Boy Zoi. And look at this picture, please. Unusual and exciting because of coming or seeming to come from far away. It is exotic. 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 It's kind of adjective. Exotic. Kila. Kila. And a holiday at a fixed price in which the travel company arranges your travel hotels and sometimes meals for you. It is package tour. Package tour. Okay, package tour. Chuyen zu lich chon goi. Zoi. And what about this one? So look at this picture, please. To encourage people to like, buy, use, do, or support something. Okay? Promote. Promote, promote is kind of verb, okay? And zip fa chen or guang ba. And next one, oh, do you remember this picture? I think you know what is it. It's from Egypt. It's a very old pyramid, okay? So it is pyramid, pyramid, pyramid in Vietnamese. Kim to top and next one oh this picture an organized journey to look at or sometimes hunt wild animals actually it's not very good to hide hunt wild animals it is safari 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 what is it in Vietnamese Kok Kok the sun han chin and stimulating 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 is kind of adjective and thu v and dai fan hik okay so we have a dialogue here okay about travel plans about travel plans let's start to read this dialogue first of all there are two people here Nick and Chow so they are asking a question to each other hi Chow how are things good have you made up your mind about where to go on holiday well I have narrowed it down to two countries. My first choice is France and my second one is Japan. What do you think? Well, France is one of the largest countries in Europe since we've got a four-week summer holiday. You could go on a cycling tour of the country or go on a package tour. Nick, no. I'm not into package tours. 
I'd like to visit Alps and climb Mont Blanc, the highest, highest, highest mountain in Western Europe. I'd also love to explore Paris and go sightseeing in the historic city of Versailles. Versailles. And ciao. Sounds exciting. I think it's quite warm there. Much warmer than in Britain. I can just picture you tanned and relaxed. Tasting delicious local specialties like frog's leg and snails. Ha ha ha. That's not really my cup of tea. My cup of tea. Perhaps I should go to Japan and stay at a seaside resort eating sushi and sashimi every day. Anyhow, Japan is only my second choice. Right. So what do you, what do your parents think about your plans? Oh, they are cool. I'm glad that they let me make my own decisions. Lucky you. Whatever you decide, you will have a good time. So, what about you? Planning anything? Well, my family. Blah blah. Okay, so now exercise A. Find a word or phrase in the conversation that means made a decision, made up your mind. R number two, reduced it, narrowed it down, and a trip where your travel and hotels are arranged for. It's a package tour. And number four, Move around and discover things, explore. And something you don't really like, not my cup of tea. And watch out. To be into something means you like it very much. Example, I'm really into surfing. I love it. I'm not into jazz. I don't listen to it. To picture something or somebody means you can imagine it. Example, I can just picture the mess at home. Or I can't picture Tom in a business suit. Suit. Lucky you is used to show that you think somebody is lucky because she or he has something or is able to do something. Okay? Now exercise B. Tick, tr uh, tick true T or false F. Number one. Chow and Nick are going to have their winter holiday. It is false. It should be not winter. Summer holiday, okay? Summer holiday, summer. And number two, package tour isn't interesting to Nick. It is true. Number three, Chow is teasing, teasing, teasing her friend about eating frogs and frogs legs. It is true. Number four. Nick has decided to stay at a seaside resort in Japan. It is false. Nick's parents are very controlling. It is. Nick's parents are very controlling. It is false. They are open mind and cool. Okay. Nick's parents let him make his own decisions decisions okay so that's all and exercise C answer the following questions number one what does oh they are cool mean 
It means Nick's parents are relaxed and open-minded. And number two, what is the weather like in France in the summer? It's quite warm or warmer than in Britain. And number three, what would Nick like to do in France? Visit the Alps, climb the Mont Blanc, explore Paris and go sightseeing in the historic city of Versailles. And number four, what wouldn't Nick like to do in France? Eat frogs legs and snails. Hmm. And number five, how do we know that your parents don't allow her as much freedom as Nick's parents? Because she says, she says, lucky you, when Nick says he can make his own decisions. Here we go. Now, exercise two, collocation, collocation, which word goes with with which list below and tour, holiday, resort and trip. So summer package adventure it goes with holiday. Summer holiday, package holiday, advent adventure holiday. And number two, holiday, tourist and seaside, it is resort. Okay? And number three, sightseeing guided and package it goes with tour sightseeing tour guided tour package tour 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 okay ooh tour and boat day business it goes with trip okay now exercise three fill each blank with a word or phrase from the list Luggage, price, in advance, seaside, resort delayed, and souvenirs, souvenirs, destination, destination, accommodation, 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 okay, destination, souvenirs, souvenirs, souvenirs. Most people enjoy traveling abroad, having the chance to stay in an exotic city, seaside resort. You can meet new people, learn new things and take home some interesting souvenirs. But before you can do that, you have to reach your destination and that sometimes be a challenge. You need to make lots of preparation. You will probably have to reserve a seat in advance on planes, train or buses. If you fly, you may find that your flight has been delayed or you have problem with your luggage. In addition to travel, it's often difficult to find good accommodation at a price which you can afford. Nevertheless, most people love to go on holiday, holiday, okay? So now exercise four, there is a quiz here. Give the names of the following, choose one and talk about it with a partner. Okay, the city in Vietnam where the International International Fireworks Festival is held annually, it is Da Nang City. A structure near Beijing, China, that is the one of the new seven wonders of the world, it is the Great Wall of China. And number three, an island in Korea that is a popular place for a holiday, it is Jeju Island. And for a local product that you would like to introduce to foreign visitors, it, it, it depends on you. And number five, a custom of your locality, 
that might surprise tourists. It is. It depends on you too. An advice that you would like to give to a tour visiting your area. It depends on you as well. Okay. So it is Danang International Fireworks, and this one is the Great Wall in China. Okay, so thank you for watching and listening to me, and I would like to invite you to subscribe to my channel. Okay, please, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss my next videos. Okay, and again. Thank you a lot. I love all of you. See you next time. Bye. Bye.